Okay, now we are currently on One UI 7 Beta 3 and apparently this is going to be the last beta that we are going to get and the next update might be the stable version of One UI 7. CID on X has tweeted that the beta program is over and apparently the beta program page on the members application has been shut down in some regions. I'm not very sure about that. This is just a rumor. You guys go ahead and open the Samsung members application and check if this page is showing up on the members app if you're currently on beta you will be able to see this page but if the beta program is ending then this page might disappear on the Samsung members on your Galaxy phone. So this is the page where you will send beta feedback, beta community option and we also have beta notices. At the moment on beta notices I don't see any uh, new notices here. I just see second beta which is in my region and third beta in the other regions and I am able to see this page on the members application but the rumors say that this page has vanished on the members application which might be an indication that the beta program is coming to an end. Now you see generally uh, we get about four to six betas uh, as far as the one UI betas are concerned. If I remember correctly the one UI 6 had about five to six betas before getting the stable version and now the one UI 7 could be the shortest beta program that we are seeing on the Galaxy phones this year because Samsung has already delayed it and maybe they are in a hurry to finish this beta program and release the stable version. The S25 series is getting launched on 22nd of this month and maybe once Samsung starts the delivery the one UI 7 should arrive on the Galaxy S24 series as well and I'm not very sure about the beta 3 being the last beta uh, we may be able to see one more beta because one device 7 is still half baked and there are many bugs and inconsistencies on the One Device 7 Beta 3. And if you are thinking that animation has reached the iOS level animation, then you could be wrong. I still feel that the animation needs a lot of improvement. There are inconsistencies when it comes to animations. It has not really reached the iOS animation smoothness yet. Since I use both the phones, I definitely can see the difference. And there are many bugs and inconsistencies. Into the Galaxy says One Device 7 is launching in about two weeks on S24 series, but at its current stage it will be bad. He says there are still poor and unnatural animations in the UI overall and terrible inconsistent widget layout and spacing etc. And he shows these widgets uh, with uh, inconsistencies. You can see the spacing and alignments are not accurate here. And even I've got some issues on my device. You've got this new animation but I can still see that uh, flickering effect on the screen. And when we go to the recent applications you can see that shadow, white colored shadow behind each application page here. Even that that is not looking really good. The shadow spread is not consistent behind each application and it doesn't look that good. There are many other bugs on One UI 7 and that needs to be fixed. And if Samsung is going to release the stable version of One UI 7 Beta, they better work on fixing all the issues on the device and uh, the animation definitely needs more smoothness. And I don't think they're going to work on it uh, for now because that takes a lot of time. So whatever we are seeing right now is going to be the final animation if I'm not wrong. And maybe over a period of time, they will work on it and make it more smoother. And anyways, we are going to get some additional options on a home up module on GoodLock, which is going to help us customize the animations as well. Now, this is what we know so far about One UI 7 Beta and when it is expected to release. Most likely, this could be the last beta or maybe one more beta and then in another two weeks, we should be getting the stable version which is by the end of this month after the launch of the Galaxy S25 series, we should be getting the stable version. And even the S23 series could get the stable version directly instead of any beta testing because they should have released the beta by now for the Galaxy S23 series. It looks like we may get the stable version directly on the S25 series. Now here is something more interesting and exciting. This is about the all new now bar which will be coming to the Galaxy S25 series. Sarkop on X has posted a video in which you can see the all new now bar with AI integration is showcased there. In the first bar it says it would be great to see my day at a glance. Maybe we will get to see the weather information and the current events of the day on the now bar. The next bar says I wish I had a personal coach to keep me on track. This bar is associated with the health application. Here we may be able to see some information like the energy score or the kind of exercises that you need to do today. So definitely some information related to our health will be displayed on this bar. Then it talks about a personal study helper. This is also quite interesting. Next it says I want to treasure this timeless moment. And then Samsung says a true AI companion is 
is coming. I have already discussed about this brand new now bar which is coming to the Galaxy S25 series. The AI will be integrated into this and we are going to see a lot more information on the now bar which is going to be really fantastic and that might be uh, the Galaxy S25 exclusive feature. Let's wait and see that. We are not very sure whether that will come to the S24 series or not. Next we have got some leaks about the delivery timelines of the Galaxy S25 series. Some time ago, uh, one of the media houses from Korea, the Financial News, did reveal that the delivery in South Korea will be beginning from February 7, 2025. And now on X, a reliable tipster from India, Ishan Agarwal, has tweeted, the S25 series deliveries will start in India around February 3rd and the direct sales in the retail stores may start from February 9th. And he has also shared the colors and variants for India. The S25 Ultra will come with titanium gray, titanium black, silver blue, pink gold, white silver jade green and jet black and some of these could be special edition we are not very sure and then we have got colors for s25 and s25 plus these are in blue black silver shadow pink gold coral red mint navy or ic blue and these variants will be coming with 256 gb or 512 gb memory and the s25 ultra will have 256 gb 512 gb and 1 tb options which is pretty cool next we do have a beautiful render of the galaxy s25 slim which has been leaked now and uh, CID says this is going to be the thinnest Samsung phone ever. It's just about 6.4 mm thin. And I'm not really sure how many of you guys would be interested in the S25 Slim. But what I'm pretty sure is the phone is going to be incredible. However, the battery size is something which we have to look into. It may be rocking a 3500 to 4500 mAh battery, which may be good enough to last for the entire day. And we're not very sure at the moment about the technology Samsung is using in this battery. Let's wait and see how it's going to go once this phone is launched we will get to know more about it i will keep you guys posted what are your thoughts about samsung s25 slim do let me know your thoughts in the comment section next we have got some images which showcases the official accessories uh, for samsung galaxy s25 series we can see some beautiful cases over here which has been showcased we've got some leather finish cases here and some cases with the strap as well and we can see a beautiful printed case here along with the anti-reflective film for the galaxy s25 series now i have also received the cases from uh, banks as well as from Pitaka for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So I will be posting some videos about that. Stay tuned for those videos. This is all I wanted to update you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's about it. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.